Voters in Madison head to the polls tomorrow, and we are your local election headquarters. Good evening. I'm Connor Board. Mike has the night off. The future of Madison City Schools rests in voters' hands. Our Renata DiGregorio joins us live to break down what you need to know about the proposed property tax increase. Renata? Connor, the first thing you need to know is where your polling place is. The city reports about 11,000 voters have a different voting place for special elections like this. Now, if, for example, it goes by your city council district. So if I live in Madison County District 4, I'll come here to City Hall. Supporters tell me the important thing now is just to show up. These signs scattered along roadways, intersections, front yards. Vote for our schools meets a 12 mil property tax increase to address overcrowded schools. The signs are all over, yet some people tell us they're not sure about casting their vote because they don't know about the proposed tax. It would look like this. About $120 per year would be added to your property taxes for every $100,000 your home is worth. So if your home is worth $200,000, you'd be spending $240 more per year. We've run out of room. It's just simply we've run out of room. Madison City Schools gained almost 900 students since May of last year. The property tax money would go to immediately building a 900 student elementary school and 1200 student middle school and expanding the high schools with enough room to handle 500 more students each. We owe it to our children to um, give them the best opportunity we have. If everybody gives a little bit, it doesn't take as much. The district has the 15th highest student to teacher ratio in the state. I love teaching and I think that students having more resources in the classroom is going to just impact our future. Now voters just have to show up to the polls. If you have a sign in your yard after tomorrow, bring it to one of the high school's loading docks. The theater classes can recycle them and use them. Also, if you need to find your polling place, be sure to download the Rocket City Now app or go to rocketcitynow.com. Putting the Valley First live in Madison, Renata DiGregorio, WZDX News.